Today I'm going to talk about a first aid kit for your dog that you can make yourself. So what I've got here is just our first aid kit that I pulled from under the sink and I'm going to go through it and show you what's good and what's bad and maybe some things to add. Band-aids are not really useful for dogs. They don't stick to the fur very well. I like these things right here, instant cold packs. I actually like this a lot to have in a dog first aid kit. An instant cold pack is great if the dog is getting heat stroke. You can actually start this up by bang on it, get it nice and cold and stick it in the armpits or the groin area of your dog and help ward off heat stroke. Absorbent gauze, more gauze, scissors, tweezers, a thermometer. At home, you'll want to know if your dog has a fever. Over about 102 and a half is too high for a dog. Label it. Lots of different ways of taping things up or wrapping things up. If you're out on a hike, or if you're uh, at home and just need the blood to stop for about 10 or 15 minutes until you can get to a vet, you can put this on pretty tight and it'll stop things up. But you don't want to leave this on for a long time. My fingers have already fallen asleep, which means they'll be up all night. Non-stick pads so that you don't have anything sticking to the wound. Ladies, you know what this is. Guys, if you don't know what this is, ask your lady or a lady or look it up. These are great because they can sop up a lot of blood. So if a dog has a cut and it's bleeding all over the place, you can slap that on there and then put some wrap around it and it'll help absorb some of that blood and stop everything up. So sanitary pads, really useful. Something to clean out wounds with. Dogs frequently tear their nails and it can bleed a whole bunch. So it's nice to have some quick stop. This also works for very small cuts, but it's just something that makes everything coagulate. It's a powder like this. And if you don't have quick stop, which you can buy online or at a pharmacy or at a pet store, you can actually just use cornstarch. Consider having a muzzle around as well. Not because your dog is mean, but because when dogs are hurt, if you're trying to mess with a cut and clean it out, their tendency is going to be to bite. And so you need to protect yourself as well. So a soft muzzle like this can protect you and them. Or a basket muzzle such as this is nice because they can't bite, but they can still pant. So if you're out and you don't have a muzzle and you need to protect yourself so that you don't get bit, you can actually use a leash to make a muzzle. Just make a loop in it and that goes right over the nose, right? And you just tie it down like this and then tie it behind their heads like this. That would be a basic at-home first aid kit or a travel first aid kit. You'd be fine with these things. 